All right, so here's an example of uh, finding the derivative here when we include a function that has a base e and a trig function. So this is from 8.2 in the Red Stewart calculus. Find this derivative. So we have two rules that we have to focus on here. First of all is the product rule, right? We've got this function here, e to the negative 3x, times cos 2x. So product rule. We need to make sure we remember that one. We also, when we're taking the derivative of each of those functions, need to remember the chain rule, right? So those are the two rules we're going to focus on. So the derivative of two functions that are multiplied together, we first of all find the derivative of the first and multiply it by the second, right? So the derivative of the first, what is the derivative of e to the negative 3x? It would be e negative 3x times negative 3. e to the negative 3x, right, it's itself times the, the derivative of what's, what's up here, yeah, so times negative 3. Perfect. And so it's the derivative of the first times the second. So we've got cos of 2x here. And then plus the first. So the first one, we just leave it al alone. Times the derivative of the second. So it's the derivative of cos x. Negative sine. So negative, sine. negative sine 2x. Right, negative sine. You leave that 2x so in that's there. Would it be just the times plane 1? Well, no, two because 2x is the inner function here. We have to multiply it by the derivative of 2x, which is 2. Okay? So that's the first step. This would be unsimplified, right? That's the, that's the answer so now, so now without simplify. simplification. So if we're going to simplify it now, what we'd want to do is, like I say, we'd, we'd probably want to um, just write this in a proper order. Like you got this plus and you got a minus and you've got a 2 here. Let's, let's combine that, right? Um, this negative 3 in the middle here. Let's put it out front, right? So the, the only other thing you could do is maybe do a negative 3 e to the negative 3x cos 2x. Whoops, 2x. And then here, let's, like I say, uh, let's do minus 2 e to the negative 3x times sine 2x. Now that's, when you do that, Okay, um, you, you actually you could go further pretty easily because what you have is you have this e to the negative 3x, right? You have this as a common factor. So you could pull that out actually and go one step further. Take out a common factor, it's always a good idea. And you've got negative 3 cos 2x minus 2 sine 2x. Okay, so I think that would probably be your, your best simplified answer there. You can't take this two out. Please don't, you know, get tempted to take, oh, I got another common factor there. No, no. This is wrapped up in the cos function, and this one is wrapped up in a sine function, so they, that's, that's not just a regular two. Yeah. Okay? Um, yeah, and, and so on. You can't take the x out. Okay, don't take an x out, because it's wrapped up in these trig functions. So there would be your, uh, there would be your final answer there that I'll just kind of take away some of that marking. Okay. Any questions? No. Oh, uh, Mr. Maxwell, how what do I have a lot of these cards on my, like my final exam? Whoa. Just because I'm writing down these different.